Hey everyone, it's wonderful to connect with you again. It's been a, a few weeks since uh, I, I've come to you midweek like this, uh, but uh, glad to be back with you. I hope you all are doing well. I hope you've had a good past month and uh, we're glad that you're, you're tuning in here. Uh, exciting things happening here at Olive. We're, we're starting a new sermon series and I'm excited to jump into this as we've uh, continued to build this space of, of, and challenge to take this message of Christ out to the community around us and the communities that we engage in. And I know so many of you are starting to, to incorporate this stuff deeper and deeper and, and uh, becoming more and more Christ-like in the way that we approach uh, the spaces that we're in at, at work or at home. And, uh, and we're, we're seeking to bring, uh, bring this forward. And, and so this next series is going to lead us up to Easter. Um, we're, we're starting the, we're going to do a study on the seven times in in the book of John uh, that we see Jesus um, or that we hear Jesus have a statement uh, that starts with I am and so uh, this is a there's a connection here uh, with this idea of Jesus saying I am that goes all the way back to uh, Exodus uh, when Moses asked God and he says who should I tell them has sent me and God simply tells, them, tells Moses to say, tell them I am has sent me. And so this is a, a connection. There was a connection that, that the, the Israelites who were in captivity, um, who had been uh, called uh, way back from Abraham, that they would call the, Abraham the, the father of, of this nation, right? That, that God had promised this nation to build um, and so they knew that this one true God, who always has been, always was, um, <clears throat> they would have referred to him when they spoke about this God uh, as I am. And so uh, this is what God tells Moses to send. And then Jesus here now, uh, so many years later, he, he brings in these seven statements that says, that starts with I am. Am and there's direct connection in this first week as we we talk about this this phrase that Jesus said of I am the bread of life and again it connects all the way back to Exodus uh, in Exodus 15 when uh, when when God uh, allowed manna bread to fall from heaven so that the Israelites could be fed right uh, but Jesus is going to go in and he's going to say and we'll get into this a little bit more on Sunday but uh, Jesus will say I am the bread of life that bread it sustains you the bread of this world it sustains you for a time uh, but the bread that I can give is for eternity what I can give will sustain you it's not gonna feed you in the temporary but feed you for the eternal and so that's what we are looking to hope uh, hoping to to fill our lives with and so bread where we're in this story it connects to what Moses did bread could be so many things that we try to fill our lives with that are just temporary right um, food is one thing right money fame success uh, jobs you know uh, a, a good family even being super busy at church right these are all temporary things that 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 fill us up in the moment but they don't sustain us for eternity like the bread of life does. And so I hope you can join us as we continue to build and I hope we can gain confidence then so that if, uh, as, as we build these statements about who Christ is, who God is, um, that when we take this out to our community, when people ask you, uh, who is Jesus or why do you believe in Jesus? We'll have these seven I am statements and we'll be able to, to, to this is just be rooted in knowing that I am has sent us, that God, that Jesus has filled us in what Jesus says, in what Jesus brings to us when we believe in and follow him. So I hope you can join us. And if some of you join us online, um, we would love for you to join us in the building. Uh, this is an invitation for you. Uh, and and if, you, if you come, if you join us, come find me. You can sit with me. I would love to have you uh, sit, sit in my row, uh, sit with my family. We would love to have you join us. But uh, hey, have a wonderful week. It's good to connect with you again. Uh, be blessed.